Hello and welcome to this accepted student program for newly admitted students into the Schreier Honors College at Penn State. My name is Ben Carr and I'm the admissions counselor for the Honors College here at the University and I will be taking you through today's accepted student program. I first want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on this tremendous achievement. Throughout the application process you demonstrated that you would benefit greatly from all the opportunities the Schreier Honors College has to offer. In addition to that I understand that you are considering many great options so I really appreciate you tuning in today to learn a little bit more about who we are as a college and a community. Before we get started, I do want to share some numbers with you. We had over 4,500 applications this year and we extended just north of 770 offers. Throughout today's accepted student program, I'm going to give you some basic information that you will need to know about the next steps in the process, which includes information about new student orientation, how to accept your offer of admission, and of course, housing. I'm also going to share a brief video with you about the Schreier experience from a student perspective. Before we begin today's presentation, I do want to uh, just give you a quick housekeeping item. We are offering this session in a live setting. Starting on March 3rd, we will be offering seven virtual accepted student programs in partnership with the Undergraduate Admissions Office. Our session will be offered from seven o'clock to eight o'clock in the evening. And the benefit to attending a live session is you will have the opportunity to ask a panel of our current scholars any questions you may have about the Schreier experience or of course what their experiences are like as a student at Penn State. So if you have not registered for one of those already, please register for one of the accepted student programs for the University Park campus. Lastly, if you are attending a Commonwealth campus, each of those campuses are offering their own admitted student programs. So I would encourage you to sign up for one of those if you have not done so already, just so you have an idea of what to expect for the campus that you will be attending this coming fall. So with that, why don't we go ahead and dive into today's presentation. Before we start today's presentation, I do real briefly want to address our mission. Uh, when William Schreier started the Honors College back in 1997, uh, there were some very specific outcomes he wanted our scholars to gain through their experience as a scholar at Penn State University. The first item you will see up there is academic excellence with integrity. Yes, we are the Honors College. Academics are a very important part of who we are, but at the same time, we expect our scholars to act with a high level of integrity. Uh, many of our scholars are taking on leadership positions across the university and various clubs and organizations and of course our scholars go on to do some great things once they leave our institution so again um, pairing a high level of integrity with academic excellence is something that is very important to us building a global perspective is another outcome that William Schreier really wanted our scholars to gain through their experience at Penn State University um, and there are a lot of different ways you can go about building that global perspective beyond studying abroad yes we do do encourage our scholars to have at least one international experience throughout their time at Penn State uh, but at the same time there are different ways you can go about uh, building that global perspective whether it's through a classroom experience or interactions with um, an international community on campus so again there are a variety of different ways you can achieve this outcome and then last but not least leadership and civic engagement we want our scholars to take on opportunities for the greater good we have over 1200 clubs and organizations we offer here at Penn State University and it's not uncommon for many of our scholars uh, to take on leadership positions um, in those various clubs and organizations across the university community um, but here in the college we recognize that a lot of your growth and a lot of your learning um, is going to come from outside of that traditional academic setting as previously mentioned, uh, there is a brief video that I would like to share. It is about eight minutes long, and many of you are probably wondering what life is like as a Schreier Scholar, and I think this really will give you a tremendous glimpse into um, all the different opportunities that the Honors College has to offer. So um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you on the other side. When I was little, I had this big fascination in cars. I would love to watch them go by, figuring out how all of these different little bits and pieces come together and make something happen on a much grander scale. Figuring out the way things work has led to that kind of inquisitive nature in me later in life. 
I grew up in Los Altos, California, which is in the Bay Area. I must have applied to at least 10 or 15 schools all over the country. Something that was really important to me was a community that I felt like I could contribute to, but also could make me a better person. One of the biggest things I was looking for was somewhere that could get me onto the path to medical school. This is my happy place. I love coming to the studio early in the morning, late at night, and build up my body of work. That shows who I am as an artist and the journeys I've experienced as a person. I think my earliest memory of me knowing that my route was different than other people in my family was in fourth grade. I just realized from a young age that I was motivated to stand against any form of injustice. I've always been driven, and I've always been a person that's wanted more, and that has led me here. During my junior year of high school, I tore my meniscus on my right leg. But something good that came out of that injury was that it kind of exposed me to the field of medicine and got the gears rolling in my head that this might be something that I wanted to do. And someone that really influenced me during that time was my surgeon. Not only was he an expert from a scientific standpoint, but also he had the empathy and the understanding of me as a person to be able to motivate me to get back as soon as possible. I came out of that experience knowing that I wanted to be a doctor. I was really surprised to see that people were just as motivated as me. They were ambitious, they were entrepreneurs voracious readers, and also knowledge seekers. I came here and I was Muslim and I was uh, Egyptian and a bunch of these intersections, but it wasn't something that I reflected upon in high school. I was excited to know that other people wanted to discover their identities like I did. Penn State is an outstanding engineering school. The ability for me to do research as an undergraduate student was critical in pushing me toward a trier. I'm looking at the genetic backgrounds in mice, humans, and flies, and trying to find out how different genetic mutations in those organisms could be used to predict ones in humans, and more interestingly, the cases in which they can't. And I'm able to work with a professor here at the university and very, very closely with some grad students. And they really look to me as a member of their team. There's a lot of support for students here to do research and research is really promoted among the Schreier students. I carry my sketchbook with me all the time because it's an assemblage of memories and experiences that I had abroad. When I look back at it, I can realize how much the experience really did impact me. I've been privileged enough to pursue art in my own life, and it's not so easy for other people. Art has always been part of our human history, and it's important to ensure that those traditions can continue. I want to start my own gallery where I show work from global artisans alongside work from contemporary American artisans. And I can't think of a better way to give back than to support artists everywhere. When I was doing research on schools, I noticed pre-med students at Penn State had a 30% higher acceptance rate to medical school than the national average. The Early Assurance Program is a program that has scholars apply early to medical school. Got all the course requirements done, went through the whole interview process. I got a letter in the mail for the program, tore it open, the <laughs> read it, you know, and called my parents immediately, and I was just on cloud nine <laughs> the next three or four hours. <laughs> the professors and faculty here are awesome. It's the people here that have made my experience an incredible one. I think that's what college is really about, you know, shaping yourself into you know, the person that you want to be. When you consume so much literature, you realize there are problems in the world. Research is a chance to speak truth to power. If you get a null result, then you can, in your conclusions, demonstrate 
One of the things that is unique about Schreier Honors College is that every scholar has to write a thesis by their senior year. And my thesis is on religious toleration in Muslim majority states. It's an ambitious project, but I'd just like to contribute in any way that rids the world of injustice. Waking up early in the morning sometimes isn't the most appealing thing to me, but when I do it, I never regret it because there's a kind of peace that you find early in the morning walking around a small town like State College. I love State College. It's a big part of why I came here. It's a quintessential college town. I've been able to meet all sorts of different people, and I don't feel like my experience at Penn State has been limited to any one type of person or community. No matter what your interests are, you'll be able to find something. There's an athletic event happening every single week. If you want to go downtown and grab a bite to eat with your friends, there's plenty of options. If you want to go outdoors and be part of nature, the surrounding area is awesome, it's beautiful. You're surrounded by so many things, there's always something happening. I'm really grateful that I was able to come here. Schreier does not leave you even after you've left. If you want to apply for a Fulbright or a fellowship or something like that, there is a supportive network even after I graduate. One of the big things our generation has to figure out is where are we going to go? Where are we going to be 20 to 30 years in the future? I have seen some of the places that the Schreier alumni have gone and have been astounded at the level of success. It makes me really hopeful for the future that we have a group of kids like us here at the Honors College working towards so many ambitious projects. And I really feel that our community will be able to make a big impact in the world. I was accepted into nine schools across the country and it was a difficult decision, but I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Shire has allowed me to grow as an artist and as a person, and I'll be able to continue to do so at a summer residency at Yale before returning to Penn State for my senior year. Oftentimes, an athletic injury can end a career, but my experience with my injury actually gave me the motivation to start a career in medicine. Coming to the Schreier Honors College and being part of the Early Assurance Program has put me on a path towards that career and I'm excited for the future. I hope that video gave you a little bit more insight into what life is really like as a Schreier Scholar at Penn State. Next, what I would like to do is just review some of the academic highlights with you. As a member of the Schreier Honors College, you'll enjoy many important academic benefits. You're not majoring in honors, so you'll be fulfilling the requirements for your eventual major and the academic college where it's located, as well as the university's education requirements. Over your first two years, you'll need to complete a total of 21 honors credits, not in addition to what you're otherwise doing, but as honors work instead of regular work. That's around five to seven courses, depending on whether they're three or four credits. For students at University Park or Altoona, you'll take a special two honors course sequence in your first year called Rhetoric and Civic Life. That replaces the university's first year oral and written communications courses, and that's six credits out of the 21. If you're at another campus, you will take an alternative course and your credit requirement will be 18 rather than 21. As for the rest of those 15 credits, we have honors courses throughout the curriculum and most of you will find an honors version of a required or recommended course towards your intended major. If you're actively exploring different majors, or if you're in a major that doesn't have an appropriate honors course in the first year, you can take honors courses towards your general education requirements or other interests you may have. You're a couple years away from this, but just so you know the rest of our requirements, for junior and senior years, 
what we call up the upper division, you'll need to earn 14 honors credits. By that point, there are new and different ways to earn honors credits, which you can find out more about on our website under Academics. All Schreier Scholars earn at least three honors credits towards the 14 by doing the required honors thesis, and in most majors you can earn six. Overall, we set the honors credit requirements high enough to guarantee a significantly enriched academic experience at Penn State, but not so high that you're constantly worrying about how to meet the requirements. Even though you've just gotten through a highly competitive application process, I know that many of you are wondering, can you meet the GPA requirement? Can you do the thesis? Believe me, that's the first thing we look at in reviewing applications, and if you're here today, we have great confidence in you. That doesn't mean that everyone will have a smooth path to a 4.0, and we don't expect you to. Our staff is devoted to your academic success, and if you encounter difficulties, we are here to help. We expect that all of you will graduate from Penn State as Schreier Scholars, ringing the ceremonial gong and receiving the Scholars Medal at the end of our special ceremony. This next section of the presentation is going to give you an overview of Honors Housing. I do have some images that I am going to share with you here momentarily, but before I do that, I do want to remind you to choose your housing at eliving.psu.edu by May 15th at noon after you accept your offer of admission. Now, there are two residence halls dedicated to our scholars. We have Atherton Hall and Simmons Hall. They are centrally located on campus in close proximity to the downtown area. If you are familiar with campus, we are right next to the hub. And 95% of our first year scholars will decide to live in honors housing. If you decide to live in honors housing as a first year scholar, it is guaranteed to you for all four years. I would say a typical scholar will live on campus during their first and their second year. And then many do make that transition off campus during their junior and their senior year. However, it is not uncommon to have many of our scholars live in honors housing for all four years. In addition to being a residence hall, however, we are also an office space. So we have 28 members of our staff who serve the college in different capacities. We have many support services that we offer in honors housing, including career services. And our staff really gets to know our scholars. And in addition to getting to know our scholars and supporting them throughout their journey as a Schreier Scholar, we are also able to connect them to other resources across the university when necessary. But beyond that, uh, one unique benefit of living in honors housing as a first year scholar is the fact that you will have the opportunity to share living space with upperclassmen and our upperclassmen do a tremendous job of really helping our first year scholars make that important transition from high school into our university. So although you are not required to live in honors housing as a first year scholar, we highly, highly recommend it for many of the reasons that I just mentioned. As promised, I'm going to show you some images of Atherton and Simmons Halls. On the left-hand side, you can see a picture of C9. This is actually where our staff will have all staff meetings occasionally. Students will also reserve this space for group projects or our Distinguished Honors Faculty Program will oftentimes utilize this space for their events. On the right-hand side, students can also reserve this room called Atherton Blue. So if you are in a class and you need a space with a computer screen, you can also reserve this space as well to collaborate with other students. This next image shows our computer lab in Atherton Hall. Students in both Atherton and Simmons Halls will have access to this space 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This also includes printing access as well. We also offer spaces for our scholars to kick back and relax. We have rec rooms offering ping pong tables, pool, air hockey, and foosball. I also want to share with you some images of the amenities offered in Honors Housing. On the left hand side you can see that we offer both washers and dryers in Atherton and Simmons Halls. On the right hand side you can see an image of a kitchen. This kitchen is located in the basement of Atherton Hall. There is no shortage of places for our students to congregate and collaborate with one another. As you can see there are more formal and informal spaces for our scholars to choose from. 
This is an image of the Grandfather Clock Lounge located in Atherton Hall, and this is probably one of the most utilized spaces for the Schreier Honors College community. Students oftentimes will use this space to practice their piano skills or study or work on group projects. However, we also host events using the Grandfather Clock Lounge. Most notably, we have our Founders Day celebration where we celebrate the founding of the Honors College and we have cake and creamery ice cream. So again, and this is a very collaborative space and something that I am sure you will utilize during your time as a Schreier Scholar. Here are some more images of our collaborative spaces in Honors Housing. These images are from Simmons Hall. Here are some more images of the common spaces in Honors Housing. On the left hand side you will see an image of Simmons Hall. This is a more informal place where students can gather to work on an activity they are involved in across the campus community or of course a group project. However, if a student needs to get away from other scholars and focus on their studies with little to no distractions, we also have 24-7 quiet lounges including the zombie lounge which is what students refer to it as where they can go and work on a class project or an assignment with little to no distractions. In the very beginning of this presentation, one of the three pillars of our mission that I talked about was building a global perspective. And again, this is an outcome that William Schreier really wanted our scholars to gain from their experience as Schreier scholars. One of the special living options that you can apply for is actually called the GLOBE. It is a community of scholars who look to foster an international perspective and global awareness. On this slide, you can see a picture of our newly renovated space. Uh, there is an application process, which I'm going to talk about here momentarily. But again, this is just a really unique opportunity and something that we really encourage you uh, to apply for. The image on this slide is a picture of the kitchen in the globe. The kitchen includes a stovetop, microwave, sink, refrigerator, and freezer. Here is one final image of the GLOBE located in Simmons Hall. In order to be admitted into the GLOBE, we do require our applicants to respond to a series of short answer questions about international affairs or other global issues that are currently taking place. We make room for about 30 first year incoming scholars. If you would like to learn more about the GLOBE, I would encourage you to visit our website or you can email our office directly at scholars at psu.edu for some more information. This final image will show you what the rooms look like in both Simmons and Atherton Halls. While you are not able to choose whether you live in Simmons or Atherton Halls, I think you will find that the Honors Housing offers a ton of really unique benefits and we certainly hope that you will consider Honors Housing during your first year as a Schreier Scholar. If you have already accepted your offer of admission, fantastic. We are really excited to see you on campus this fall. However, if you have not accepted your offer of admission, please note that this is a two-step process. You must first log on to your My Penn State portal in order to accept your Penn State University offer of admission. In addition to that, you must also pay the university acceptance fee. However, in order to secure your spot for the Schreier Honors College this coming fall, you must log on to the Schreier Honors College decision page and accept your offer of admission. Please note that there is no separate acceptance fee for the Schreier Honors College. Prior to starting classes on campus this fall, you will need to participate in new student orientation. Although we are not sure what new student orientation will look like for our Schreier scholars as of this recording, we will be releasing more information in the coming weeks. I do want to emphasize the fact that regardless of how new student orientation is structured for our first year incoming scholars, we will preserve priority registration for you and you will be able to enroll in all of the courses that you need this coming fall. Once you are done with new student orientation, relax and enjoy the rest of your senior year and summer. We will look forward to welcoming you to campus for showtime in August, which is a celebration for the whole Schreier community. As a scholar, you will move in a few days before the rest of the Penn State student body. This two-day event is designed to help you settle in, make friends, get to know campus, our staff, and of course, meet some of the best friends of your life. 
We're not living in normal times, and while we all hope that fall will be a return to normal campus life in every way, I do want to take this opportunity to mention some of the things the Schreier Honors College has done over the last year to support our students, in addition to everything Penn State has been doing, which I hope you are hearing about in other admissions presentations. For us, student support means making sure you succeed, meeting our requirements and those of your major and the university, but it also means making sure you get the special benefits and advantages of being a Schreier Scholar at Penn State. We don't just want our students to get through the year, we want them to have memorable and enriching experiences. Here Here's some of what we have been doing. Again, this is just in the Honors College, so in addition to everything the university has been doing. We've continued all of our student support services, academic advising, career development, and Schreier student organizations of all kinds to make sure that our students have the same level of interactions with staff, including our dean, as they're accustomed to. To give you just one example, our students are continuing to enter the integrated undergraduate and graduate program that lets them earn a bachelor's and master's degree within five Five years, which is one of the most ambitious things you can do here as a Schreier Scholar. We have worked with students and professors to make sure that everyone with in-progress thesis research and creative activity is able to finish whether or not they're on campus and even if their final thesis looks a little bit different than what we're accustomed to. And we're making sure that juniors can get started on their thesis so it can be completed on the usual timeline. We provided additional financial support to Schreier scholars in need so they can continue their education without interruption and so they have what they need to study remotely if that's the situation that they are in. Lastly, we've continued all of our co-curricular programming remotely. Most recently, our Lachinsky lecture, which with Leland Melvin, the only person ever to be drafted by the National Football League and go into space in case you're looking to set yourself some ambitious goals. Our inclusive conversation series has brought in distinguished Penn State faculty and alumni to discuss issues of social justice. And because we have a head study abroad this year, we've organized 20 interactive sessions that bring together Penn State faculty and Schreier students with faculty and students from universities in such countries as Sweden, Nepal, and South Africa. So while the rest of this presentation will assume that we'll get back to normal by the time you start in the fall, I want you to know that Penn State and the Schreier Honors College can make your first year of college memorable, worthwhile, and enriching no matter what college looks like by August. Of course, we are encouraging all of you to stay connected with us. We have some scholar ambassadors who are really eager to share both their Penn State and their Schreier experiences with you. Also, if you attend one of our live accepted student programs, you will have the opportunity to interact with some of our current scholars and ask them any questions that you may have about the Schreier or the Penn State University experience. Finally, if you have any specific questions, please reach out to our office directly. Again, my name is Ben Carr. I'm the admissions counselor for the college. You can reach me by emailing our office at scholars at psu.edu. Thank you again for tuning in to learn a little bit more about the Schreier Honors College at Penn State. Once again, congratulations on this tremendous achievement. I really wish I was able to congratulate you in person. However, we are really excited to see you on campus in August once the social distancing phase is over. Of course, if you have any questions for myself or any members of our staff, please email scholars at psu.edu. We are.